Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be reviewing some of the newest products from Rare Beauty. So I have the new bronzing stick. I have two of their brand new liquid blush shades, and I also have the setting powder along with the brush. So today we're going to be reviewing these and seeing how they perform, and I will be giving you my honest review of each and every one of them. So if you're interested in these products and seeing my opinion and how they actually work, then keep on watching. So first we need to apply some primer, foundation, concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then we will go ahead with the bronzing stick. I'm going to be going ahead with my Infallible Matte Lock Primer by L'Oreal, my Catrice True Skin Foundation, and my Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is a breakthrough bronzing stick for a quick and visible sun-kissed glow with a smooth, seamless, and second skin finish. Just swipe on, blend, and go. It is an innovative liquid-like cream bronzer that melts into the skin for a visible sun-kissed warmth that won't fade. It is ultra blendable and buildable. It glides on weightlessly, making it easy to softly sculpt the face. It is a non-greasy, water-resistant formula that won't cake, crease, or clog pores. So I got the shade Power Boost, which is the lightest shade, a true tan with neutral undertones. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to the face as I normally would. So we're gonna contour the cheekbones, the nose, the jawline. It is very, it's gliding really nicely and it's feeling very creamy. So we'll just start with that and see where that gets us. I'm gonna go ahead and use my sponge. You could also use a brush too. Oh, that's nice. It's definitely blending in really easily as you can see. And it's not super intense, so it would be nice for um, those like natural days too. Let's see if it builds. definitely builds. I like that. It's very blendable and um, more natural, but it is buildable. So it's a pretty versatile formula just from what I can see. I'm going to go ahead and blend the rest in and then we'll take a closer look as to how it's actually looking on the skin. So when I look up close, it definitely blends into the skin really, really nicely and does have that kind of skin-like finish. It doesn't look like waxy, thick. It really blends into the makeup and it's very like smooth. So I really, really like the way that it's looking, the way that it applied. So I'm super impressed so far. I really like the color too. It's very bronze, but it's not too bronze. Like it has enough, enough to it that I'm like, this can pass as contour, but it's still bronze. And I like products like that again, as I said, because it's kind of a two-in-one. Now let's go ahead with the cream and liquid blushes. Let's start with the shade Encourage. I'll do the one on the one side and then the other on the other. I will probably end up mixing them like to match just because I have another video to record after this, but I wanna show you guys both. And they both are the dewy formula. 
same packaging as before and the dewy formula is a little more hydrating it doesn't look matte it has a nice kind of sheen to it which is really nice and these shades are so so beautiful so encourage is the soft neutral pink and i'm going to use the sponge for this as well sorry guys i'm a sponge girl so let's put a couple dots here it is a darker shade so i will be mindful of that but that's okay it's like winter right so you want like those rosy cheeks like they are quite pigmented you probably don't need that much but you know i like blush i'm a blush girl all the way edges out the reason i love this formula too is it's super as much as it's intimidating it is very easy to work with so as you can see like how pigmented that is but it still blends out really really nicely um, and easily i'm just gonna add a little bit of concealer here make sure everything is nice and blended but I really like that like as you can see it has that like little bit of sheen without looking you know greasy or oily or um, heavy it melts into the makeup so stunningly um, so I'm familiar with the formula but I really wanted to try these new shades and this one is just to die for like it looked very pigmented but I think especially once you put powder on that's going to be so stunning like a nice neutral pink and we kind of needed those shades in my opinion from this collection uh, from rare beauty because as i said before a lot of the shades were like bright pink and red and berry like deep bright really warm toned we needed some cooler neutral kind of everyday options in my opinion and i i love that that's um come in this new launch so this is the next shade believe which is a bit of a darker shade it's a little more mauvey it's a little bit less pink a little more mauve and it's just slightly darker so it's actually quite similar i'm only going to do two dots since this one's a little darker but once you blend it in like you really can see the pink in this one and you're gonna i feel like we're gonna see the mauve in this one i don't even know if i needed that much but again, see, like that looks so intimidating. It looks scary. It looks like it's going to ruin your makeup, like you've applied way too much blush. And look at just how seamless and easy and quick that all blended out. So effortless. And you can see that more mauve shade, whereas when you look at this side, it's a little more pink, but both very neutral, verging on cool toned. I'm going to add like the tiniest bit of each to each side to even them out so we're going to be rosy today we're going to be rosy so let's do believe do like that much on this side just to even them out and then one dot of this on that side and then use my sponge to blend a little more so really really love those shades and as i said formula we already know and love um so a plus for the blushes i think those shades are my favorite by far from the ones i've tested i tested bliss which was the matte kind of peach matte nude pink but i think it has a peachiness to it so it's like a warm nude pink and then the um happy which is a dewy cool pink so yes it's cool but it was bright um so it was a lot brighter whereas this is much more like everyday kind of like you know and last but not least we have the powder brush and the setting powder so the brush is made out of synthetic bristles that are actually supposed to mimic natural hairs so it's vegan um, but it's still supposed to have the benefits of natural hair which is really nice it is very beautiful and cute i really like the appearance of it and then the bristles are so incredibly soft and they're nice and tapered so you can get in those smaller places but it's also large and loose enough that i think we'll be able to do all over blending the powder i got in the shade light it comes in five different shades it is a silky do-it-all talc-free loose setting powder to visibly smooth blur and control shine for a soft natural finish and all day comfort so it's super finely milled silky to the touch it goes on light and airy to provide a sheer seamless coverage with a subtle but visible radiance and a natural finish so it's supposed to extend makeup wear really lock in the makeup control shine 
blur the look of pores and smooth skin's texture, but also, you know, give you that kind of natural radiance um, without being like super glowy, but just a little soft touch of radiance, which I like. I'm gonna do a wear test. I'm gonna go ahead with a day two as it is 8, 11 p.m. right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and like apply this all over again um, another day. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like after a certain amount of time. It doesn't give any wear time, you know, guarantees so we're just gonna have to like see how it goes i really like the packaging it's super like simple soft and delicate and i like this right here it's like a sifter it has you know when you have your spices and it has that thing that you move to open up the holes to like um sprinkle it on it kind of is like that tapping it comes out nicely no scent on one eye let's see what it does i'm not gonna bake but i'm gonna take some of the powder and go under with the sponge and see how that looks and then on the other eye let's swirl and tap it's very finely milled and then let's sweep the brush is nice oh it's so nice it feels nice on the skin looks like it's doing a good job okay let's see what side looks better I'd say they look the same. I'm not loving how my under eyes look. I think I'm just used to baking. Let's just go ahead and apply a little more. I'm just used to so much more powder. Yeah, um, it's actually, I think it maybe accentuates, like it's not, you know how a baking powder almost like lays over top of, it gets, it's thicker and it adds almost coverage. I think that's why it's just different. It's maybe not my absolute favorite under the eyes, but it, it isn't bad. I've seen a lot worse. Let's just go ahead and set the rest of the face. We're just gonna do a light veil all over the rest of the face. Love the brush, definitely love the brush. I don't know how I feel yet. Um, I feel like it's maybe, not blurring my pores as much as my um, baking powders do. But when I do this all over, you'll even just see how my blush is blended more. Like it's definitely doing a good job at setting down the makeup, softening all the lines, blending it all out. I feel like I need to kind of do a day two to really form an opinion, like with a different foundation maybe. I don't hate it at by any means, but I also am not like in love with it right now. I just feel like maybe my face doesn't look as smooth as I was hoping. Okay, so I went ahead and did some brows. I'm not loving it under my eyes and you're gonna see why. And I've applied a decent amount of powder. So under the eyes, I'm finding it's like not fully setting down the product and it's kind of all the product sinking into my lines so i'm not loving that the rest of the face i don't mind um i feel like it does give like a bit of that radiance it's very natural though so it's not overly radiant finish so i really like that so i think basically what i'm gonna do is again give it a really good wear test and then come back with my final opinion so i will be back another day to show you the result Okay guys, so it's the end of the day of uh, day two of testing my Rare Beauty products. It has been almost 12 hours. It's been about a little over 11 hours. So we have a really good wear test for today and I'm pretty confident in my opinions of these products. So contour stick, still love it as you can see, nice and bronze and it is neutral enough as i said for me to contour with that being said it is still going to be a warm product to contour with because it's still bronzer but what i'm saying is that it's neutral enough that it's not going to look super orange if you want it to be really like a true contour then obviously you'd want to go with an actual cream contour but i really like that it's a nice neutral shade for my skin tone um, and i like the formula it stayed around all day. It didn't, you know, go patchy. It didn't fade. So A plus for the bronzing stick. Really, really love it. Easy to work with. Buildable, blendable. No complaints. Um, then the new liquid blushes. I actually forgot to put them on today before I set my face. So I'm not wearing them today, but really loved the shades. And as I said before, the formulas I already knew and loved. So really honestly recommend these new shades as I think they're some of the most flattering from the collection, just in personal preference. And I really, really love the formula too. 
And then last but not least, we have the powder and the brush. Brush A+, plus, really love it. Gets under the eye, still loose enough to do full face blending um, and application. Definitely recommend the brush. Really soft bristles, does a good job, um, and uh, uh, does a seamless application. The powder, I would say, I'm not like over the moon about. It did control shine really well for being a radiant finish as it is basically 12 hours and you can see like barely any shine. It also didn't break down. Um, so I'm happy about how it held the makeup together, but just upon application, it's not the most smoothing, blurring, powder i also didn't even apply it under my eyes today because i knew i didn't like it from my first impression so i personally don't recommend this under the eyes as i don't think it it flatters the under eye um, it kind of sinks into your lines and emphasizes them but all over face if you're looking for just an all over face powder i do think it's good it's just not the best i've ever tested so i wouldn't go out of my way to recommend this one it's good but it's not great like it didn't look bad by any means but i just felt like it didn't look perfectly smooth i hope you guys found this video helpful and enjoyed don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys next time bye